Hey guys, Glenn here. Are you tired of your 3D prints becoming a waste of plastic because the power went out? Well, so was I. So I bought a UPS. In fact, I bought two of them. The UPS stands for Uninterruptible Power Supply. That's a battery so that when the power goes out or just flickers or something, it's not going to be a problem. The UPS is going to save my time, plastic, and my sanity from restarting these prints and getting all angry when the power goes out. Now my new Prusas have this feature that is really neat. When the power goes out, at least when it goes once, it usually saves the print and then starts right back up again. And it says it on the screen saying continue print and you click it. However, now even if you have a, a brand new Prusa and the power goes out, uh, it's not guaranteed that your print's going to be saved because it does work sometimes. But more often than not, at least in my neighborhood, the power will flicker and then flicker again, and if it flickers twice, then it completely erases the print, and then all of my nine printers goes down, and we're restarting everything, and I'm not dealing with it anymore. So, let me show you what I got. All right, guys, welcome to my shipping center. Let's open it up. What we have here is the Cyber Power 1500, which is a pretty big one. It wasn't exactly cheap, but it's going to save me money and sanity in the long run, so don't forget to invest in your businesses. Alright, it's very nicely packaged as you can see. I'm going to flip it upside down here. New plastic smell, we gotta love it. So we got the unit here, which I'll go over it in a second. You got a cord, you got the user manual. Each one of these I'm expecting to power six MK3S Prusas. So as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One is offset, which is really nice, not needed for my situation, however. You also have six plugs that just work as a surge protector. So, um, you can also surge protect your cable, and you can surge protect your internet lines. Now I'm gonna show you the display, and I'm gonna test it out and see how much power it can handle. All right, we're all plugged in. Nice new cellophane. Take that off, oh yeah. Hold for two seconds, boom. We're up and running. So the screen's pretty cool. It, it gives you the total battery capacity, the load capacity you'll see in a minute, uh, but it will look like the battery capacity. Uh, you can get, do the kilowatt percentage. Um, you know, there's so many different uh, displays on here that you can go through them. Uh, the battery capacity, you can see how much percentage you have, which I'm not gonna keep it on there. Um, estimated runtime. Um, it's not gonna be too accurate, I would assume, when I unplug it and test this, but We'll see. It's not going to be 463 minutes with the printers running that far, that's for sure. All right, so let's leave it on the kilowatt percentage and see what happens. All right, so I have three MK3Ss and one Mini, which should be about the same power. Um, I'm going to heat them all up and we'll see what happens see what percentage it takes up. We'll just do PLA because that's the majority of my prints. All right, two of them. You can see here on the display, you press the display once and we're using 62%. So that means effectively we should be able to power three at once, which is very rare to power three at once. Um, but I want to run six consistently. So. You'll see here it's using 90% power. So if I go over that, it's gonna start beeping at me and start losing uh, the, the battery capacity. So you wanna stay under that while you're powering up. And then I'll show you, um, while these printers are running, how much they're actually using. All right, guys, all the printers are heated up. Now they're just maintaining, which they would be doing pretty much the entire time during a print anyway. Um, so let's see when I press the display what we're up to. 
17%, 18%, 20%. So this thing should more than likely handle six printers, uh, which that's why I have these printers over here and those printers over there because I want them on different circuit breakers. Uh, so we should be able to get up to six, um, you know, just, just printers on there. You just don't want to turn them on all at one time, which you don't want to do that on your circuit breaker anyway. I ended up testing one MK3S. I had it powered up, so the bed was powered um, all to PLA, 215 degrees Celsius, the hot end, and then 60 degrees Celsius, the, the bed. Um, I unplugged it, and it turns out that it runs for about nine minutes, uh, give or take, uh, when I tested it. So if you have, let's say, four printers, just divide that by four, and then you'll know if four are running at the same time, how long this unit will last you. I got this pretty much uh, to just keep the printers on if the power goes out for a minute um, or flickers or something like that. Uh, anything more than that, you're probably going to be okay with the Prusa because it's going to come back on and it wouldn't have that power surge. It's just going to work afterwards. If you guys are looking to save yourself a headache, I left links down below so you can buy this unit. Um, if I would recommend the 1500 if you have six printers, um, even four printers or more. Uh, three printers or less, you're probably going to want the 1000, uh, but why not get a bigger one to be expandable anyway? If you guys like making money with your 3D printer, subscribe. If you thought you got any value out of this video, like it. If you hate me, dislike it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day.